Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Talk Sports in South Jersey. Let's get started by talking about our local teams first. Starting with the Philadelphia Union. They finished the season with a record of 15, 14, and 5. They will take on New York City Football Club on Wednesday. They finished the season with 50 points. They are in the playoffs. Let's get a win and advance to the next round. Go Union! The Philadelphia Eagles are 4-4 four four on the season. They are off this week. They will take on the Dallas, how about them Cowboys, on November 11th. Let's get a win and stay in the NFC East race. E-I-G-O-E-S, Eagles! The Philadelphia Flyers are 4-7 on the season. They will take on the Anaheim Ducks on Tuesday, the Los Angeles Kings on Thursday, and San Jose Sharks on Saturday. Let's get some wins and move up a spot in the Eastern Conference. The Philadelphia 76ers are 3-3 three three on the season. They will take on the Los Angeles Clippers on Thursday and the Detroit Pistons on Saturday. Let's get some wins under their belt and move up a spot in the Eastern Conference. The Temple Owls are 5-3 on the season. On Thursday, they will take on Central Florida. Let's get another win! Fight, fight, fight for the cherry and the white! The Pennsylvania Quakers are 4-2 on the season. They won 27-10 at Brown. They will take on Cornell on Saturday. Let's keep the winning streak going! The Villanova Wildcats are 3-5 on the season. They are on a losing streak. They will take on Richmond on Saturday. Let's get back in the win column. Nova! 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 We will talk more about the local teams next week. It's time for This Week in Sports History, everything that happened in the world of sports during the week of October 29th. On October 30th, 1919, the Baseball League presidents called for abolishment of spitball. On October 31st, 1908, fourth Olympic Games ends in London. On November 1st, 1913, Notre Dame Fighting Irish upsets the Army Black Knights. 35 to 13 in the college's inaugural football game. Quarterback Gus Doyas was 14 of 17 passing for 243 yards and two touchdowns. And receiver Newt Rockney used the forward pass effectively and changed football forever. On November 2nd, 1895, the Belmont Stakes. Fred Tell aboard Preakness winner wins in two minutes, 11 and a half second race, one in November as New York Jockey Club closed out its affairs. On November 4th, 1939, the 1940 Olympics awarded to Helsinki, Finland. And on November 5th, 1886, the 26th British Golf Open, David Brown shoots a 157 at Musselburgh Links. I'll have more sports history fun facts next week. It's time to recap the 2018 MLB postseason. The new 2018 Baseball World Champions, the Boston Red Sox. They won the series four games to one, defeating the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Red Sox had 108 wins on the season and eight wins on the postseason. Congratulations to the Boston Red Sox. They are the 2018 World Series Champions, let's party in Beantown! Now it's time to see how my predictions worked out for Week 8 of the National Football League. I went 5-1. The only game I missed was the Cleveland Browns losing at Pittsburgh. It's Week 9 of the NFL season. It's time to pick the top 6 NFL games who will win the game on Thursday and Sunday, starting with the greatness of the Oakland Raiders versus the San Francisco 49ers. A Bay Area showdown. What has gotten into the San Francisco 49ers? They only have one win on the season. They had a 12-point lead and gave the game away to Arizona, losing 18-15. The Oakland Raiders lost to the Colts 42-28. I predict the San Francisco 49ers to break the losing streak in Santa Clara. Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Baltimore Ravens. 
and AFC North battle. The Baltimore Ravens won 26-14 in Week 4. The Pittsburgh Steelers won 33-18 against the Browns. I predict the Baltimore Ravens to sweep the Pittsburgh Steelers and knock them out of first place. Kansas City Chiefs versus the Cleveland Browns. The Kansas City Chiefs are 7-1 on the season, winning 30-23 against the Denver Broncos. For the Cleveland Browns, they ended up losing in Pittsburgh. I predict the Kansas City Chiefs to go into Cleveland and get their 8th win of the season. Atlanta Falcons versus Washington. Hail to the Redskins! The Atlanta Falcons are 3-4 on the season. They won against the G-Men 23-20 in Atlanta. The Washington Redskins defeated the New York Giants 20-13 and have first place in the NFC East. I predict that the Atlanta Falcons to go into Landover and seek out a W. Los Angeles Rams vs. the New Orleans Saints The LA Rams are 8-0 on the season. Can any team cool off the Rams? They won against the Green Bay Packers on a fumble by Ty Montgomery on a kickoff. For the New Orleans Saints, they are 6-1 on the season, defeating the Minnesota Vikings 30-20. I predict the New Orleans Saints to cool off the Rams in New Orleans. Green Bay Packers versus the New England Patriots. What has gotten into the Green Bay Packers? They do not come away with a win, losing in LA 29-27. They are 3-3-1 on the season. Ty Montgomery fumbled a kickoff on an unnecessary one back giving the game to the Rams. For the New England Patriots, they are in first place in the AFC East. It's a short week for New England as they try to take a commanding lead in the division. I predict the New England Patriots to win the game and sack Aaron Rodgers. Check in next week and we will see how everyone did. Well, that is a wrap. You can also listen to my podcast through my Facebook page at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching and keep those comments rolling and we will talk to you next week.